Internet of Things or IoT is a new buzzword and also a reality. With over 300 players offering IoT platforms, evaluation and selection of a platform is a daunting task. This primer covers business issues and provides technical details of the components in a product agnostic manner. The slides to follow provide conceptual architecture of several configurations, list business, technical and functional considerations. Similar to other initiatives, developing a strong business case for IoT with tangible business benefits is essential. Conceptually, IoT comprises of components enabling collection of data, components that enable analysis, pattern development and analytics, and finally components that enable action. In most IoT solutions, decision and action is performed by humans. However, in certain applications, action is performed by the application through commands to the device. While most frameworks enable all three, they have differing capabilities. Some frameworks are strong on collection of data from a broad array of sensors, while others have higher capability in pattern development and analytics. For example, the Novi platform from ClearBlade focuses on prediction and decision making. Establishing value of data and ability to derive valuable intelligence from data is crucial to the success of IoT solution. The IoT ecosystem comprises of humans, cloud and thing. The illustration shows a connected network of these three elements. The human to cloud connection shown in blue is the popular internet of people that enables humans to access web applications, e-commerce sites, storage locations, etc. The human to things connection shown in green is the human machine interface. The thing to cloud connection shown in orange is the internet of things wherein things are interacting with applications on the internet. The thing to thing connection through the internet is also shown in orange and is the next wave commonly referred to as M2X. When developing an IoT solution, focus on the entire ecosystem, identifying the role and capability to be built in people, cloud, and the thing. This slide illustrates the different components of an IoT solution. The sensor, a camera in this case, captures images of the event. It uses near field communication protocol to transmit images to the mobile phone that acts as a gateway. The mobile phone uses cellular protocol to transmit images to the cloud. The stored images in the cloud are analyzed by the appraiser and subset of images are made available to the repair shops for their action. In short, the slide illustrates the three components of an IoT ecosystem, which is data collection, analysis, and action. It also illustrates the role of the gateway as a protocol converter. Although the slide shows human involvement in the collection of data, in a typical IoT solution, data collection and transmission is performed without human intervention. Similar to other IT initiatives, business considerations is a first step for developing an IoT solution. Do a deep dive to understand the business problem being solved and the benefit it brings. Does the solution reduce current operating cost or is it necessary for business growth or a combination? Operating cost reductions are usually easier to quantify than growth and customer retention. Clarity on expectations, feasibility and cost are extremely important in any initiative. IoT is no exception. What differentiates an IoT solution is the cost of scaling. 
For example, let's say we have an IoT solution that provides advisory services to a car owner by gathering engine data over a period of time. The complexity of technical solution increases exponentially when the solution is scaled from a few thousand cars to a few million cars. Functional considerations. IoT solutions can be broadly categorized into one of three solution spaces. The categorization helps in defining the scope, benefits and complexity. Solutions in the first category simply present the data to humans after simple sorting and grouping operations. For example, fleet tracking, asset tracking, smart parking, etc. Solutions in the second category perform simple to complex analytics and present the recommendations to humans for action. For example, maintenance planning and usage-based insurance. Solutions in the third category perform action on things. For example, moisture control or irrigation in agriculture based on weather prediction. Solutions in this space are still evolving. Critical to all solutions is the identification of data and the ability to derive valuable information from the data. Technical considerations. Focus on the capability of sensors and the capability to be built in the gateway. In some cases, gateway aggregates the data and only sends a subset to the cloud. This approach reduces bandwidth and thus data transmission costs. If code needs to be developed and deployed on the sensor or the gateway, evaluate the IDE and API provided or supported by the vendor. Capability to develop, debug, simulate and test on a PC and deploy the code over the air greatly increases the chances of trouble-free solution. Ensure that you have flexibility in the selection of storage location storage format and the analytics solution for analysis. This slide illustrates the layers in an IoT ecosystem and the protocols or functions supported in each. Microsoft, AWS and other vendors support bidirectional communication between the cloud and the device or thing. This capability of bidirectional communication enables performing actions on the device. HTTP, Message Queue Telemetry Transport, also known as MQTT, and Advanced Message Queuing Protocol, also known as AMQP, are popular protocols used for communication between device or gateway and the cloud application. This slide shows the software stack on the device and the protocol supported. Connectivity between the device and the cloud application depends on the software stack supported on the device. As can be seen from the table, low power devices typically use Bluetooth. In such a case, a gateway is required for protocol conversion and transmission of data to the cloud using MQTT, HTTP or AMQP. The reference to MQTT is illustrative only and may be replaced by other supported protocols from the vendor. IoT Gateway Architecture Options The next three slides present architecture options and the software stack on the device. On this slide, the custom code utilizes vendor's SDK to obtain data from the device, processes and packages it for transmission and uses MQTT or AQMP or other supported protocol to transmit the message to the broker. Fundamental to this architecture is the fact that the device in itself cannot communicate over the internet with the message broker. In this option, the message broker is installed on the gateway. More and more IoT platforms 
are supporting message brokers on the gateway to minimize transmission of data to the cloud. This architecture option does not show the cloud. Cloud is not a mandatory element in IoT. However, there are several benefits of utilizing the cloud such as security, elasticity, ease of deployment and management of the solution. IoT Cloud The cloud in an IoT platform from vendors provides many services enabling faster deployment of the solution. Match the capability and maturity of the services available from the platform to the requirements of the solution. In addition to basic platform services, several vendors provide solutions in verticals such as transportation, healthcare, communication, etc. Conclusion Thus far, we have discussed devices, gateways, communication protocols, and cloud. All of these are essential elements in an IoT solution. There is no one best IoT platform. Most important to the success of any IoT solution is the identification of data and cost-benefit analysis.